or do they do you have to spend a long time piecing them together? Say that again. Okay, right. I get that. I get that. This Child is, and the alien. <laughs> this was an antenna moment. Um, so Josh, just a, a little insight into Josh's songwriting. When he writes, he just writes like a whole song just out. He has this book of song. And I, when the first time I saw it, it blew my mind. He just has a notebook, and when he writes a song, he just writes it, which is completely bewildering to me because when I write a song, it's like a napkin, and then a scrap of paper, and then a phone note, and then another thing. Anyway, they take a really long time, but this one just, um, we have a little church on our land, and it's consecrated, but nobody goes there because nothing happens there. It's really amazing, really beautiful. And so I just use it as my own rehearsal space because it has really great acoustics. And uh, the first time I ever went in there with my banjo, this whole song just came out in one go, and it never happened ever before, and I was very excited about it. And I think it's probably because it came from one of the deepest, most painful places that it could possibly have ever come from. And um, it's still a bit raw. I've only played it outside the house maybe twice. <laughs> I even have to have a little crib sheet just to make sure that I, I don't lose track. But it's a song about how things that happen to you when you're young or things that happen to you in your life can stay with you for a really, really, really long time, can impact your life in ways that you would never have even imagined. It can take decades to overcome those things. Um, and I know I'm not alone in that, so that's something I wanted to share this evening. So it's called It's Over Now. It's over now.
my 